The lion's share of the snow this fall has fallen in the Pacific Northwest, but in the weeks to come, an enhanced southern branch of the jet stream will bring snow to the resorts of the south and the southwest. South of Interstate 80, the amount of open terrain will increase dramatically as we head toward the holidays. Snow came early to the west, so there's a pretty good variety of options this weekend for your early season turns. The season started at Wolf Mountain. Look for Powder Mountain and Beaver Mountain to follow suit very soon. You can make enough turns to test your legs this weekend at Snow Basin, the Canyons, and Park City. All three will be opening up more terrain. Deer Valley will open for the season on Saturday. Brighton has a good number of trails open, and the season is underway at Solitude. Sundance should be able to hit its target date. Alta is one dump away from really expanding the open terrain. Same story at Snowbird, where a few runs are covered for limbering up. In southern Utah, Brian Head is anticipating a big snow year thanks to the El Nino. They've got a handful of runs open already. Telluride in Colorado is off and running, as is Winter Park. Monarch has one of the highest trail counts in the west right now. Ski Cooper will open up very soon and start their lifts. A Basin picked up some light snow late this week just to keep things soft on top. Sun Valley in Idaho has some good carving snow on their open trails. Jackson Hole has covered a few runs, and Big Sky is in great early season shape in Montana. The next shot of snow from the Pacific is headed into the southern ranges later this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, the Skiing Weatherman, and I'll see you next week.